In this video, we will solve a question on game theory. The question is consider the pay of matrix. We are being given the pay of matrix for two players, player A and player B. Each player has a strategy low or high that he or she will play. Okay. Uh, the pay of matrix is such that the first element of each cell is the pay of for player A and second element of each cell which is being denoted by black color is the pay of for player B. Okay. So we are being told to choose the correct option from this. First option is there is one dominant strategy in the game. Second option is there is one Nash equilibrium. Third option is there are two Nash equilibria or D is no equilibrium in the above game. Okay. So first we will you know focus on dominant strategy by dominant strategy as i have explained in detail in earlier video you can check that out also it is a situation where one player has a stronger or more effective strategy over the other in simple words a dominant strategy is the one that will have the absolute best effects no matter what the exponent sorry what the opponent does or chooses to play let us first find out the whether player A has a dominant strategy or not. For that, what will we do? We will see what happens when player B chooses the strategy low. Okay, let's concentrate on this option. When player B chooses low, player A has two options either to play low or high. You can see high gives him three uh, as payoff, low gives, gives him only one. So he will choose here three. When player B chooses low, player A chooses high. Okay, uh, now let us see what happens when player B chooses high, again in this case, player A will have two options either to play low or high. Here low gives him two payoff, high gives him one payoff, so he will choose low. Okay, and here you can visualize that the strategies of player A changes with the strategies of player B. That means player A has no dominant strategy. Okay, because uh, uh, player A's strategy changes when player B changes his strategy. So player A has no dominant strategy. Now let us check out for player B. Okay, whether player B has dominant strategy or not. Okay, let us say player A chooses low for that player b has two options either to play low or high in this case you can see playing low will give player b zero payoff playing high will give him one payoff so he will choose high okay so when player a chooses low player b chooses high Now let us see what happens when player A chooses high. Again, let us concentrate on this row. So when player A chooses high, player B has two options either to play low or high. Low gives him, you know, greater payoff than playing high. So he will choose this payoff. Here again, the strategies of player A changes when the player B changes his strategy. Okay, so player B has no dominant strategy and player A has also no dominant strategy. That means this game has no dominant strategy. Now let us find out uh, the Nash equilibrium. By Nash equilibrium what we mean it is a situation where optimal choice is when there is no incentive for players to deviate from their initial strategies. Simple thing, Nash equilibrium occurs when one player chooses his best strategy given the opponent has also chosen his best strategy. Uh, let us again try to find out the Nash equilibrium. Or rather, let's uh, find out the Nash equilibrium. How do we find out this? Let us say for player A, what happens when player B chooses low? Player A has two options either to go for low or high so he can see low gives him one payoff high gives him three payoff so he will choose three because it give, gives him better payoff so we will underline this let us see what happens when player b chooses high again player a has two options either to go for low or for high 
लो गिवज हिम बेटर पे ऑफ देन प्लेइंग हाई सो लेट्स अंडरलाइन दिस नंबर हियर नाउ लेट अस सी अबाउट प्लेयर बी ओके व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन प्लेयर ए चूजेस लो प्लेयर बी हैज टू ऑप्शंस आइदर टू प्ले लो और टू प्ले हाई हियर यू कैन सी हाई गिवज हिम बेटर पे ऑफ देन प्लेइंग लो सो लेट अस अंडरलाइन दिस वेरी uh you know number here now what happens when player a chooses high okay so we are concentrated with this row here when player a chooses high player b has again two options either to play low or high playing low gives him one pay off playing high gives him zero pay off so he will definitely choose to play low because it gives him better pay off than playing high okay now nash equilibrium occurs when both the elements okay in this case are in uh, you know underlined or encircled so here you can see here both 3 and 1 are underlined here both 2 and 1 are underlined that means this game has two nash equilibria okay nash equilibria okay then the correct option should be uh, there are two nash equilibria okay so by dominant strategy as i have told you uh, uh, a dominant strategy is the one that will have the absolute best effect uh, no matter what the opponent does okay and by nash equilibrium we mean a situation where optimal outcome is when there is no incentive for players to deviate from their initial strategies here playing low high and high low are the two nash equilibrium uh, two nash equilibria strategies okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you